What's going on ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Auto Auction Rebuilds. We are back at it again with another Copart walk around over here at Copart, 2829 Southeast 15th Street here in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. And today we have a special guest for you. We've got Monkey Wrench Mike. He Hello. hasn't he hasn't been here, how long has it been? It's, it's been, been a long time. Been a minute or two, yeah. Yeah, a minute or two. I think it's been more like six months, but <laughs> was the last time you were here when I was sick? <laughs> yes. Was it really? Yeah. He got, yeah. you know what it is? Yeah. I probably had COVID, and now he's been scared to come back. Well, you were wearing the mask. <laughs> yeah, they were I remember. Popular. I remember that. Yeah, <laughs> I'm telling you, he's a trendsetter. I, I am. I think I had COVID be before COVID was cool. <laughs> That's bad. <laughs> it, it is bad, but <laughs> I'm telling you, I think it may be true. I thought yeah. I was dying, man. Well, you had all the symptoms. I you, did. You did. You I had did. Every single one of them. And they didn't know what I had. They oh. said it was a respiratory infection, a severe respiratory infection. I, I got to thinking about it. I was like, yeah. Huh. Maybe that's a good thing. Had you been to Maybe. China before or no? No, never been to China. Okay. Not recently. Okay. Never, actually. Yeah, I've never. <laughs> I've never been. <laughs> anyway, look, go check out Monkey Wrench Mike on YouTube because, look, I know so many of you love watching YouTube channels where where the, the creators punish themselves on a regular basis. Hoovy's Garage is a perfect example. Yeah. Uh, he is Hoovy's Garage on Mercedes. Yep. Uh, yep. It, that just goes, It almost, you don't even really need to say it. If you are focused on Mercedes Benz, <laughs> you're a glutton for you hate yourself you do you hate you yourself do. and you're literally punishing yourself for something you've Everything. done in the past to make up for it yeah i believe that yeah. what did you do mike <laughs> i've been paying for it ever since I'll just say that. with as many mercedes as you have i guarantee you, you've been paying for it man yeah. Yeah. he's got <laughs> my favorites are the gold five is a 560 sec, SEC. Oh. right yeah because yep. they also had an sel didn't they uh-huh. What's the difference? Two I honestly... So the C is a four-door. Coupe. Yeah. And the C, S-E-C is the two-door. It's a coupe. Okay, so yours is the S-E-L. Is the limo. I drove the limo. The dictator's car today. Uh, okay. The, the battle axe. The I call that the battle axe. <laughs> he, he, he brought his big one today. But then, yeah. my other favorite is the... Uh, the white one, the 60... 69 280 SC, I call her Janice. Janice yeah, Joplin. Janice Joplin. Yeah. Should be called the devil because we're pretty sure it's haunted. It's, People yeah. have died that have owned that car. Yes, so if you don't know the story, listen, go check out Monkey Wrench Mike on YouTube, guys. It's, it's, it's scary. It's a ride. <laughs> it's a ride. <laughs> yeah. We're, we're going to get started today with, uh, you know what, to be honest with you, I don't even remember what this was. Wow. Uh, How does this even happen? How what? Did the engine hop up into the... I'm, I, I'm guessing the engine came out of the car and they threw it in the windshield. Um, wow. Like, I don't even know what this is. Uh, it's a Chevy. Oh, okay. is this a Cruze? No, it's a Malibu. It's a, wow. It's, it's a lot shorter now than it used to be, I think. Uh, the good news is it looks like the cabin, even though everything here has been e obliterated. You say that now. I think the cabin is actually, oh, what? You don't get a is, lot of room to drive. Whoa. Oh, oh. They must have, oh, bio blood. Dag nabbit. And, and the odometer is not working. Well, now I don't uh, want it. Yeah. I, I was totally going to get this car, but if I don't know what the mileage is on it, <laughs> I'm not even going to do it. Well, look, guys, the good news is is uh, we're not going to go looking for blood. We're not going to go looking for, for you know, any of that kind of... Oh, wow. Lots of clothes. Lots is of that this. a motorcycle helmet, too? Yeah. Well, maybe I do want this car now. <laughs> oh, yeah. See? Oh, yeah. And what is this lawnmower battery? Ooh. Oh, man. Yeah, you, yeah. What? Guys, comment below. What? What is this lawnmower battery doing in the trunk? This isn't a hybrid or anything. That's got to be like some kind of an auxiliary. There's no way you run the whole car off of that. No. It's bizarre. I've never seen that before. Yes, yeah, so let's try the trunk. Does it work? No. Man, this thing. 
Okay, I know we, we joke and play and everything. Malibuts. Now it's a quarter, three quarters of a Malibu. The Malibuts. Uh, obviously, you know, somebody must have got hurt in this. I, I, I don't see how they couldn't have got hurt. But hopefully, hopefully whoever was inside of it came out of this all right. Uh, I can't imagine. Like, it's, when I see things like this, it does remind me because I do, I'm not going to lie, I get stupid sometimes with that Hellcat especially. In the Jeep, not so much. The Jeep wants to tip over always. So it's best to not go any faster than you have to in the Jeep. Yeah. The Dodge Ram, or the, sorry, it's not a Dodge, the Ram 2500, it's also kind of top heavy. And it's a big diesel truck, so it doesn't go particularly fast anyway. So the only car that I really find myself trying to get in trouble in is the Hellcat. Things like this, it's kind of a reminder, you know? Now, of course, give me a, well, give me, <laughs> give me four hours from now and I'll probably be in the Hellcat doing something stupid. But for right now, for right now, I can look at this and go, wow, I have got to drive more carefully. And I like showing these cars mainly so that uh, any any younger people that are watching, I remember what it's like, man. You think you're invincible. You think nothing can happen to you. And you think you're safe because you're in a car. Uh, Newsflash, kiddos, cars aren't safe. They're really not. Have you ever been in an accident that was anywhere near no. this? No. No. My worst car accident was on I-40 and over there by by Hyde. You know where Hyde is over in Dell City? No. No, it wasn't Hyde. Okay, you know where Pull Apart is? Yeah. A couple miles to the east of Pull Apart. Okay. I used to live in the public housing development there. Oh, okay. There's a bunch of like yeah. apartments called Ambassador Courts. Okay. Yeah, I used to live in the public housing back then. And I got I got hit in the rear in a Ford Tempo. And I had my newborn daughter in a car seat. Back then, I didn't know you're supposed to put them in the center. And I had her on the passenger side, yeah. rear seat. And a big yellow Chevy Caprice from Yellow Cab got off the interstate there. There's that intersection where, where the highway comes right on. There's a stoplight. God, I wish I could remember the name. But anyway, that stoplight there that's at the highway. I turned right from 15th Street to go south onto I-35. And a yellow cab had come off that ramp. There's a hill. I never saw him. He was going 60 or 70. Yeah. And when he came down that hill, I looked yeah. in the mirror, and by that time, he hit me on my daughter's side of the Ford Tempo. This is a yellow cab Caprice hitting a Ford Tempo. By the time it was done, my daughter's car seat was no longer visible. Oh. Yeah, it was bad. Uh, it wasn't this kind of bad, yeah. but the whole back of the car was gone on this side, and it went into the door. My daughter's car seat had been pushed. The windows were gone back there. The car seat had been smashed into the front seat. Yeah. Uh, she was all right. Wow. My wife at the time, sister, was in the front seat with me. He hit us in the corner in the rear, like right here. Yeah. And it just shoved everything into the door, yeah. and it spun me. And you know that highway going to I-35 South? There's a, a drop-off that goes right onto I-35 before you get to the ramp. It just literally, he spun us and spun us and spun us. And when we landed, we were hanging over that drop off there. Oh, 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 oh yikes. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Uh -uh. Did it go into slow motion? You know, it, they say it, that, ow, something just bit <laughs> <laughs> <God. laughs> Oh, dude, it's on you. That's a spider or something, man. <laughs> I think okay. he was it, dangling it, from you. Yeah. Did it go in slow motion? <laughs> Honestly, I don't really remember. Yeah. I, I, I don't really... Yeah. That was 1998. So it was a little while ago. You'd think I would remember that more, but... Yeah. I remember the car, and I remember the yellow cab, but aside from that, like, I... Uh, I don't really remember what was going through my mind when it happened. <laughs> is, is this still biting you? Yes! <laughs> you, you may have picked up chickers from this car. No. Something. Let's, let's, go to the next <laughs> let's move on to the let's next go. one. Next on my list. Hey, what is this guy doing in what my damn doing? video? What are you doing, man? You got to get out of my video, get man. Of my video. I'm working. I'm a professional. Okay? I'm trying to work. <laughs> 
we we got a, a Lexus uh, and it's a crispy critter. It's a 2002 ES 300. And while the body looks good, it looks like somebody, I wonder if this is a theft recovery or something, you know? I always wonder about stuff like this when you see cars that are crispy and melted like this. Oh, uh, that's, I think that's fiberglass. I probably don't want to be touching on that. Or was this a rear end collision? Was it a stereo system? It, oh, well, it looks like somebody hit it, but surely that didn't, that didn't catch it on fire. That's a little dent. Okay, so here we go. Huh. Right here. And I don't see a system either. This is really, cool. this is really interesting. Kind of right this is very bizarre, guys. Let's see. Okay, so it's a car full of melted stuff, but I see no reason for anything to be melted. Very bizarre. Maybe it was a rear defroster gone wrong. That's what I would guess. Did you just say I don't work? <laughs> Do you see what I'm holding in my hand? This is dirty. I don't know. I'm wondering. I'm wondering what could have possibly caught this on. It almost had to be the rear window defogger. Yeah. Had to be. Yeah. Because there's no damage. <sighs> Golly. Now, I, my first S100 second one was kind of like this not as bad and i just replaced the back seats and the <laughs> stuff and loved the car for a long, long time you want to try your hand at a lexus not this one this hey you could more... you could do this yeah this is this would probably still run well all the good stuff's up front yeah, so yeah. It, the only thing you gotta you gotta fix is just put a look all you need is a rear window man that's that's all you need, that's all you, need. <laughs> you just need the rear window it's gonna smell so good <laughs> I actually love the smell of burnt cars, so this works fine for me. Guys, maybe some of you know a little more about these uh, Toyota, I mean, I'm sorry, Lexus than I do. Uh, maybe you can comment below. Oh, wow. Is that the key? What the? Should we start it? Probably not. I mean, if whatever, if whatever started the fire... Well, Think of all the wires that are now melted together. Well, the gas tank's back there, too, so that might not be for you. <laughs> oh, I found the problem. It was the Galaxy Note 10. Oh. It burnt the car. The dreaded battery is it's, it's the Samsung Galaxy Note 10. The Galaxy <laughs> Gate, guys. Yeah, that's what it was. Wow. Uh, I'm going to get sued into oblivion by Samsung. <laughs> okay. Let's see what she yeah, I am curious. I'm assuming everything under the hood is fine because there's no burnt paint. Look at that. Wouldn't it be cool to buy this car and drive it? I would drive it. I would. What would you drive it through? Uh, another barn. What's left on the I have a shed. A shed? I, actually, I have a Toyota Sienna we could drive it through. Now you're talking, yeah. I'm going to be doing that. Demolition Derby on my property, smashing cars into each other. That sounds like so much more fun than actually getting your hands dirty. I'm telling you. Your, your neighbor would love that. I might even get him to do it with us. Have we announced who your, your neighbor is or no? Oh, the mayor? My neighbor is the mayor of this little, little bitty town that I live in. Yeah. Yeah, I could see him coming. I think he's 80 or something. Mm -hmm. Get him over to do a demolition derby with us. See? Yeah. Got to bring that revenue into the town. Yeah. It almost has to be a rear window defogger. I, I, I don't... I There's nothing else back here other than speakers. And speakers don't catch on fire. It did have an electric sunshade. Can you believe that in, an, in a Lexus ES300? This is yeah. a small Lexus. Right. Well, I guess this in Mercedes terms, this would be like a midsize Lexus, yeah, the ES300. E e yeah. Sunshades. E Look at that. Maybe it was the sunshade that caught on fire. I don't know. Is it listed as a runner or? It's listed as a non-runner. Oh, they took the battery out. Yeah, I can. I as much as I would love to start this up, I just I I can't do it. I can't do it because I just feel like you're asking to catch this thing back on fire again and I, I just don't feel right. I don't feel right about that. Put the key in it, see if it works. It does. The key turns. Wow. It's melted up here, but the key still works. Oh, the headliner has gone too. Oh, wow. Yeah. I didn't see that. Yeah, maybe, maybe we shouldn't.
start this one, guys. God, Copart would probably, well, they probably permanently ban me. They'd be like, what were you thinking? Starting a car that had an electrical problem and burnt to the ground. Now, Mike, there's something for you to record on video. Do you know what, what? that is? Where? Right behind oh. you. Surely you know what that is. Oh my God, it's one of my favorite cars. Yeah. <laughs> Now, I showed this in my video last week, and it runs, by the way. It actually runs great, but the uh, slave cylinder is dry. Well, so what? Yeah. I mean, it probably needs it needs a little oh bit of work. God. Look at this. Yeah. Straight six. How much is it? Uh, don't know. It's not actually for sale yet. Oh. oh, oh, oh. There is a starter disconnect in the trunk. Man, you gotta hop in and try it, dude. I'll turn the I'll turn the battery on for you. Holy this man. thing. There you go. You've got that. juice. We're gonna cool. now. I've already shown this mm -hmm. in last week's video, so there's no reason for me to record it again. But Mike could get him a little content out of this. Next on my list. Oh, you guys know how we do in Oklahoma, man. We only have the most exciting cars out here. Only the best. This is a 2014 Ford. Taurus. Are you disappointed? I'm very sorry. We, <laughs> we don't get the cool cars out here often. Sometimes there's a Viper in the shop. And Mike, I want to tell you something. Yeah. There's a car right there. You see the old school? The white? Uh, don't say too much because I'm not revealing that one. But that is my next purchase if it ever goes up no. for sale. I just saw the first letter of the Dude, check it out. It is like almost mint original. Oh, wow, yeah. Yeah. But instead of something cool like that, back to the 2014 Ford Taurus that's been rolled over with 142,000 miles on the odometer. No, guys, we're not rebuilding this. You know, I've had a lot of people, a lot of people on my channel have asked why I haven't been doing rebuilds. Like, obviously, my channel name is Auto Auction Rebuilds, yeah. and you don't see a whole lot of rebuilding going on. And why now, not? exactly, well, it's because I'm a lazy piece of shit. I'm a bum, I'm lazy, and I don't like to work, and I don't know anything about cars. Well, at least half of this is true. I don't know, I don't know much. I know enough about cars to get me into trouble. That's what it is. Yeah. What, what people don't realize is that Oklahoma requires you to have a rebuilder's license. Yay! Mm. Yeah, you can't just rebuild cars. See, before I knew about any of this and I started my channel, we were rebuilding all kinds of crap. Haven't been rebuilding things lately because the state of Oklahoma says you can't. Now, there are ways around it. If you know somebody and they decide they want to buy as an individual one of these, and have you do the work for them and you get to record the process, well, that's fine. But for me, myself, I am extremely limited by state law on what I can and can't do. So if you've been wondering why we haven't been doing some crazy things, well, that's why. And then if you're going to ask, how do some of these other big channels get away with it? They don't live in Oklahoma. That's, <laughs> that's all I could say. They don't live... They don't live in Oklahoma because in Oklahoma, they're they're very strict on a... Well, the thing is, okay, they're strict on you need to have a rebuilder's license to do it. But to rebuild a car, you could literally take the title to this to the tag agency and it would be rebuilt the same day and you never fixed a single body panel on it. That's the uh, thing. Yeah. So I don't pretend to understand the, uh, the politics behind it. I, yeah. I don't get it. But that's the reason, guys. You know, unfortunate. So a lot of people are like, Randy, you need to change your channel name. What? From Auto Auction Rebuilds, because you don't rebuild anything. L-A-R? Yeah, I guess it just needs to be... Lazy-ass Randy? Lazy-ass L-A-R. Yeah, actually, that I like that. L-A-R. No. Guys... You're not lazy. You, do, you crank up more videos than most people. Yeah, it's true. I'm really not lazy. I'm just, you know, unfortunately, my hands are really tied, guys. And it sucks because I love doing this stuff. Uh, not this. I wouldn't touch this with a 10-foot pole, to be quite honest with you. This thing, there's not a single panel on this car, I think, that survived. You know my favorite story about this right here, this Taurus? The Taurus? Game, the what? Game. Remember when they got rid of it? Ford got rid of it because it was old school and they went to the 500. Remember? Oh, yeah, I had a and Ford 500. Thought, 
oh, this is it. This is going to be great. And then they named it the Taurus. And then they went back to Taurus. Yeah. After calling it a, an old name and they wanted to go a different yeah. direction, they went back to that. Yeah, big mistake killing off the name Taurus. Almost as big of a mistake as when they tried to kill the Mustang and replace it with a Ford Probe. Probe. <laughs> the Ford, the Ford Probe. <laughs> that was going to be the new Mustang, guys. <laughs> Can you imagine yep. if that had actually happened? Yep. If they had killed the Mustang GT and instead you got a twin cam Ford Probe GT that has a Mazda engine in it. There you go. The only time I ever got a person fired, if we're going to be honest <gasps> about all this kind of, in my business, you you know, if you can go in, you talk to the news director, hey, this person's terrible, blah, 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 blah. Oh. I was a news anchor in Topeka, Kansas, of all places, and I had a co-anchor. Her name was Shermaine. Shermangi. That's like champagne. Shermaine. She was awful and i went to the news director i said it's me or her i can't do it anymore she can't say anybody's name right she's she's horrible and they said okay well she's still in her trial basis so they got rid of her and as she was leaving town i came up on a stop sign looking right at her and she flipped me off as she drove off guess what she was driving a ford taurus no, a, a ford, ford probe, probe. <laughs> she was driving a probe yeah she flipped me off and drove off see yeah. That's when she was new to the news game, and she see that's how you know when you've progressed. You go from a Ford Probe like her, and now yeah. he's a seasoned anchor, and he's driving a Mercedes, a 560 Mercedes at that. That's how you know you that's made it in the world, man. Roll. A 30 year old Mercedes you bought for fifteen hundred dollars. You still stole it. Wow. I thought it was stolen. It makes I'm not gonna lie. I, I really. Uh, anyway, <laughs> it's not stolen, guys, but there was a minute I thought maybe it was. The guy had to pay uh, some court costs. Yeah, he, he, had, had, to, yeah. he, he had a few violations, <laughs> a few run-ins with the law. Man, guys. You know, honestly, though, I do kind of like the, this generation of the tours. I, 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 I don't know why I do, but it's... If I they're quiet. If I was gonna get one, it'd be a SHO though. Well yeah. That twin turbo. Yeah. <sighs> okay guys, nothing more to see here. Let's move on to the next one. Next on my list, just for him. Just for him. A 2003 Mercedes ML 350, not a 320. Mm -mm. It's a whole three tenths of a liter bigger. And you can tell. <laughs> I swear it's a little <laughs> It really is. You can tell. Uh, it would have to be. If you're going to designate it a completely different number, yeah. there'd better be a noticeable difference. And you know, it's probably just a slight bore over what the old 3.2 was exactly. and probably a more aggressive tune. Yeah. Yeah. It's actually not, it's not horrible looking. In fact, it's really not bad looking at all when you consider it's got a quarter of a million miles on it. It's got decent tires. Uh, what totaled this one, though, was most likely it was hit in the back. It looks like somebody, after the accident, put a salvage taillight because it's got salvage markings on it. So somebody continued driving it. That's good because that always that tells me someone was using it. Yeah. Dear, you know, when it was in, involved in an accident, you wouldn't replace a taillight if it was parked on the street broken. Exactly. You know, so most likely you could buy this. But, hey, I'm going to tell you right now, every time I buy a Mercedes and I think, oh, man, this, like the one I went all the way to Texas for, <laughs> cream puff of a car, aside from the driver's seat, I just oh. knew that car was going to be perfect and hey plagued with the ab not abc uh they threw you a curveball yeah yeah we had the aromatic issues we had well the power steering hose was because of a forklift but that ended up having to be replaced that power steering hose ladies and gentlemen mm -hmm. there were only three in the country for that car it cost me five hundred dollars for a power steering hose for an all-wheel drive s430 wow that's what I said. How much was the whole car? Uh, I think the whole car was like 15, 1800. <laughs> so, okay, yeah. A third of the price. Thankfully, I have a buddy, John, shout out to you, who is at the Mercedes dealership. So, I got a I got a bit of a discount uh, okay. on yeah. that. So, yeah. yeah. That's what I hate about Mercedes. Is some things are cheap, but there are some things that you just wouldn't expect that come back to bite you in the arse. But look how clean. For it actually looks really good. However many. It, it does. The coolant looks nice. It's at the right level. This one probably runs just fine. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see if it'll fire up. We haven't been starting cars because they've all been burnt down. 
and <laughs> rolled over with the engine sitting in the windshield. So we finally we finally arrived at one that we can make an attempt to. You just can't get in the driver's door. Yeah, you just can't get in the driver's door. So bear with me while I climb over. I wonder if the window's missing over here or what the deal is. Well, there you go. Now, I don't see any, there are no warning lights on other than, you wanna take a guess? What's ABS. always broken in these? ABS. No, try again. What is it? Low range. Well, you just said it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Low low range light is flashing like a son of gun, but she runs good. They're not even a check engine light. Like nothing. Listen up, it's not even moving. Yeah, this thing is it's not even moving. These are great cars. This is this is wonderful. There's not a huge resale value on them though. Like no, if you're cool. if you're trying to make a profit, that's where it that's where it gets difficult. If you're buying one for yourself. These are great, but if you're trying to make a profit, well, good luck. I can't put it in gear because I'm not climbing all the way over this damn thing. Oh, it's got the it's got the big screen. Ooh, it does work. Yeah. Yeah. Does the AC work? I'm not even feeling it. Yeah, it should be blowing. I'm going to turn it up some. Turn recirculate on. Or try auto. It, hit auto. Where's that? Right there. Yeah, there's not. The blower's on, but oh, it's coming out the defroster. Oh, that's a common thing. Vacuum, yep. I imagine. Yep. Mine does that. I just put a towel. Oh, on. the floor is ice cold. Okay. Yeah. Oh, wait. No? It's okay. It's, it's coming out the floor, guys. She runs good. It's got a quarter tank of gas. It really does. It runs so well. Huh. Yeah, figure out that vacuum issue with the air conditioning, and this thing would be ready to go. Yep. Well, two, you know, two yeah, two bumpers. If you could find them at LKQ or Pull Apart, you get a good deal on them. Yes. Otherwise, you probably send it right back to the salvage auction. Well, you can get them at Certifit much but they're not that great quality i mean it's chinese yeah i have had massive problems with components from certifit yeah uh, aside from the horrible customer service people treating you like crap up there and uh the parts generally needing to be adjusted yep. to <laughs> to make them work yep. they'll have a bolt in the uh bumper that you on this one right here and it attaches you know it attaches yep. right here whatever's here and on the real one it's it's in there with the plastic yes certifit it's like taped 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 it's taped and so as you try to push it the tape oh. off and you can't get it to screw it so you got to put a hole in there reach up there with the wrench to hold the bolt screw all that <laughs> i'll just take a good used one from a junkyard or yeah. from from uh lkq or pull apart or something yeah. all right guys uh i i honestly as much as i love buying these I usually don't have any luck. Weird Beard isn't a big fan of these. So trying to convince him to buy an ML, any Mercedes from me is kind of like pulling teeth. He's not big on buying Mercedes from me. <laughs> I'm afraid if I buy another one, he may just be like, you're going to have to find somebody else out too because I ain't doing it. So we're going to move on from this one and get on to the next one. Next, we got a 2019 Land Rover. I mean, uh, sorry, a 2019 Ford Expedition. They're the same damn thing, guys. And... Now, keep in mind, I made my list at 3 in the morning. I'm exhausted. I've had like two and a half hours of sleep. It's been a rough day. All right, so I saw this on the website, and I saw that it had no damage at all. But yet it's listed as a salvage title. Why? At this... What time was it again? Three, about 3 in the morning, <laughs> you know... After having the fire department out at my house because a fire got out of control. You know, that's in an upcoming vlog, guys. Trust me. That one, you'll see the vlog. Uh, yeah, 20-foot flames, out of control fire, me with a fire extinguisher and a garden hose. Uh, and then the fire department came over to, you know, go, uh, sir, are you okay? 
I'm like, I got this, man. I got a water rose. It's all good. Just last words. Ugh. So I thought, you know, this is probably the most interesting car of the day. It's also the last car of the day. Because why would a 2019 Ford Exploder, I mean Ford Explorer, be sitting at the salvage auction with a salvage title with no day? It's beautiful, guys. Look at it. There's no damage. Okay, so you think it's probably a flood. Well, there's no Badusi in this car. No what? Badusi. Badusi. Do you know what Badusi is? I'm afraid to ask. Uh, take all the bad words, but A, D. Yeah. I don't know what the U stands for, or the two S's for that matter. Your. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I don't some, you know what? I would tell somebody to please comment, but do see, I had to have TK tell me what it was because I'd never heard it. Okay. Yeah. But yeah. someone told me, and it is like the nastiest of the nasty. <laughs> in fact, if you smell. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Where's your mask, man? No, I ain't trying to play that. Uh, now. If you spell out Badusi, B-A-D-U-S-S-Y, that's seven characters. Yeah. How many characters does Oklahoma allow you for a custom plate? Seven. Oh, now you're, oh. I'm you thinking about putting Badusi on maybe my Jeep. That's yeah. Funny. Yeah. That's funny. Yeah, but I'm afraid some people may take that wrong. Because there's a lot of different things that may make it sound like I'm a real, you know, <laughs> See, this dude likes but, and again, I don't remember what all of the letters and the acronym stand for, but I do think if I put it on my license plate, I would be getting some very, very, <laughs> oh, well, you got lucky. Okay, so it doesn't smell. It's not a flood. I don't see anything. <laughs> Golly, that's a heavy door. Boy, that'll give you a workout. Let's see if it fires up. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. 58,000 miles. There's nothing wrong with it. Nothing. There's nothing wrong with this, but it's salvage. It's also listed as a non-driver. It's listed as a start, not a drive. Guys, it moves. It goes forwards and backwards. And the important window works. There's nothing wrong with this. It's also, you see that? It's listed as a start, not a drive. But it drives. It does. There's nothing wrong with this. How about that? This may be the score of the century here. I don't, okay, the bumper is sticking out a little bit right there. You, there you go. There you go. Just pop it back in. Oh, 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 oh. Was it just, it just get just the bumper is a little damaged? Does the trunk still work? It does. Oh, you got it's one of these. Yeah, it just needs a bumper. Okay, so I guess it does have a little damage. That's that's not that big of a deal, guys. Oh, does the electric hatch not work? Yeah, it does. There you go. Yeah, look. Like, th th there's, okay, I, I did miss the back bumper. Obviously, it needs a bumper. Uh, aside from that, this thing is perfect. This thing is perfect. You can get a bumper for, oh. Here it comes. Here it comes. This is the reaction. Oh, you saw this and didn't even say anything to me. <laughs> you were building up to it. So I'm was, seriously I'm making a video <laughs> telling people how great this car is, and he he's over here laughing. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. That's funny right there. Oh, wow. This isn't major. No. No. Oh, man. <laughs> That's those three in the morning Copart walk around lists for you. There's nothing wrong with this. <laughs> yeah. Oh. What a disappointment, man. That's a real disappointment. Well, obviously, I couldn't afford it anyway, so. <laughs> I guess it shouldn't hurt my feelings too bad. Oh, wow, but that air conditioning feels amazing. Oh, so hot. So hot, guys. All right. That's the end of this video. 
I'm out of here. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to bounce out of here. A big shout out once again, and thank you for Monkey Wrench Mike. You know, normally it's me out here by myself, and all I do is walk around cars and talk about cars. But when there's Monkey Wrench Mike out here, suddenly we're talking about car accidents from hell, ex-wives, Badussi. All positive uh, stuff. <laughs> It's always interesting when Monkey Wrench Mike comes around, man. It is because we we start talking about all kinds of other things, and you still get the car content. So it's a bonus. It's it is super size. It's a super size Copart walk around. Okay, damn the rear end of that truck took a wow. There's another bonus for you right there. Mm -hmm. That's not even on the list, but golly, that thing took a major hit. <clears throat> Jeez. You got to go check out Monkey Wrench Mike, guys. Link in the description. Link in the comments. You can't miss it. He's got a monkey with a wrench. There you know, you hey, hey, monkey wrench. There you go. <laughs> your intro with your grand's grandson, uh, right? Yes, yes, yes. Monkey Wrench Mike. And he said something about your dog. Uh, no, Lola, I'm in the car. I'm in the car. We practiced, <laughs> we practiced for like 30 minutes. What are you going to say? <laughs> monkey Wrench Mike. So we go out to the car. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. He's done with it. <laughs> Camera shy? Yes. Well, then he tries to break things in the car, you know, the turn uh, signal. Oh, like, wait, yeah. Wait, wait, yeah. Wait, you know, and all that. So, yeah. Oh, you know, kids. He probably won't be a news anchor. I'm sorry. <laughs> He's smart. He won't. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you to Copart for allowing me to do this and, you know, do what I do to make a living. I appreciate you guys. I appreciate Copart. I appreciate Monkey Ridge Mike for coming all the way from Tulsa out here. How far is that? Three? Is it three hours? or No, that's the Wichita. Wichita. It's yeah. an hour and a half to Tulsa, right? 120, 115, depending. So about, so about the same as from where I'm yeah. driving from. It's, to, it's not a horrible drive. No. Well, guys... I'm going to get out of here, but I want Monkey Wrench Mike to drive the Hellcat with the red key. I'm dying. Did he say red? Did the red, say red key, key? The red. 717 horsepower key. I've never, I've never had a red key. Oh, dude, you got to try the red key, man. It's like, I mean, it's like, it's like, it's fun. Ice cream. It's, yeah. It's like something you really enjoy, okay? And just just fill in the blank with that. It's great, man. Once you try it. Yeah, I'm telling you, I don't know what the bugs out here today are determined to kill Mike. Mm. He's been bitten and, and attacked. He had a wasp chasing him a minute ago. And that was a dragon. And now dragonflies do yeah. bite, by the way. Like, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. You you think a mosquito is bad or a beast thing? You need to get bit by a dragonfly, okay? Those Generally, they don't come after you but if they do it's gonna be a bad day where is he oh yeah there he's right maybe a cicada no they don't come out during the day no. i don't know guys we gotta get out the things are going it's it, <laughs> it's it's like the end of the world out here man there's plagues and famine and, and and things are happening that aren't good we're gonna get out of here but leave a comment down below hit that like button follow me on facebook and instagram auto auction rebuilds follow monkey wrench mike until next time, stay safe out there, buddy. We will catch you all very soon. You know, I hate I hate saying that because it makes my viewers think that we're leaving. We're going into the air conditioning. We're going to get something cold to drink. But no, we've got 10 more cars to do out here, which means we'll be... Anyway, I'll catch you all in the next one.